Nityanandam. Hey guys, my name is Srinitha Dridananda. This is uh, Srinitha Saha Devananda Maharaj. This is Srinitha Ramnathananda Maharaj. Srinitha Dathananda Maharaj. And we are currently on the SM team, the Satchala Morty team. Moving, moving daily, we are Swamiji's personal team and today we wanted to do a video we had to talk about our experience that happened last night saw how what happened yeah so basically I'll give you guys a little brief explanation of what exactly we did last night um, so all of us were able to actually serve Swamiji and his personal guests and actually be around and understand the large vision Swamiji has not just for his adinam, but for the entire world, his mission, and how he shares it with the people that come to him, the way that he carries himself in front of others, and the way that he's able to so concisely and precisely just give that image and vision to other people, and just being around and how inspired we all, we all became. There was a lot of clicks, actually, uh, that we got from just being around his space. See. The component in which I saw Swamiji was his leadership and visionary component. Oh, the, the sound. Can you guys hear us? Is the sound uh, good? Sound good? Thumbs up? Yes? <laughs> Don't give a thumbs Okay. Hey, can you say, can you see, somebody type if you can hear us fine. Can you hear the volume fine? Yes. Volume? Okay. Sound We're check? Some. Sound check? Awesome. Say yes. Yeah? Yeah? Say yes okay. if you can hear us. If there's <laughs> audio. Yes. So, uh, I'll just continue, guys. Uh, so basically, the aspect in which I was able to capture the essence of Swamiji just being around him is the vision and his leadership component in which not many people are able to see you know, behind closed doors and how it feels to be so inspired and motivated uh, as someone who's so close and uh, being part of his Satchila Murti team. Um, you know, I'll, I'll go on talking about that aspect, but... Um, Ramanatha, what are some of the, the key points or some things that you captured just being around Swamiji uh, yesterday? Yeah, the one thing that I captured, how Swamiji will be explaining his vision to the people, how he is reviving the Sanatana Hindu Dharma. So regarding the construction, he was telling that mm -hmm. if I have to just build a concrete building, I just need money to build it. But basically, I'm building a concept. Mm -hmm. So the temple that I'm building is a concept. So I have to do uh, thing through a lot, lot of micromanagement has to be done. Mm -hmm. Then he suddenly explained the, like how Mahadeva explains about having the chandelier made out of the Rudraksha which he want to yeah. make a, like one chandelier will be having the 10,000 Rudraksha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. So <laughs> like that is the one concept. If anybody builds in the modern day, they just use the glass chandelier buy from the market, use the money and just buy it. But for us it is, we have to search in the Agama what Mahadeva talks about, uh, what kind of chandelier we should be using. So that itself need a lot of researches. Mm. Yes. And then the new effort that has to be put. So that was like, wow. When uh, That is how we are working, working for a concept, not just to build some structure. Mm. So yes, yeah, so Swamiji was explaining how we weren't going to be using the normal day, modern day tools. We're actually mm. going to be using the tools that they use in the Agamas themselves to build these temples. Mm. So Ramanatha, I feel like you have something yeah. that's like <laughs> about to just like... Yeah. Uh, yes. Basically, I just remembered how Swamiji was talking about preserving the manuscripts. So basically, earlier time, we used to preserve the manuscripts using the palm leaf. But uh, it stays in the particular houses. Uh, Hindus, what Swamiji was saying, that Hindus are highly devoted person, but less tech savvy. Mm. They have not been using this technology to present themselves and take it to the other people. Mm. So what we are doing, like uh, we digitizing all the manuscripts and making it available for everybody to download it. Mm. So this is what we are using this uh, technology here to make all our source manuscripts, source scriptures, to make it uh, available to the people so that they can do the researches and they can do the studies and researches and improve their lives. Yeah. I study more about the Sanatana Hindu Dharma. All part of Swamiji's mm -hmm. big vision to be able to, mm -hmm. to see it come to life. So what happened was last night, uh, all of us, we got to be in Swamiji's personal space. He, he was uh, visiting with some... Uh, some uh, other Swamis. Other Swamis, yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, we had the opportunity to serve them dinner, serve them food. And during that time, like being in the room 
with Swamiji when he's having this one-on-one -on -one conversation with them and having that experience and we're all like brand new to this and we're, we just yeah. want to make sure we're not screwing up yeah. and doing yeah. things right and, and Swamiji teaching us and guiding us along the way like uh, yeah in the way he will be guiding how to serve the food yeah what like, should yeah. be the first thing that we should be serving to the people yeah, yeah. And, and so to to be there and have that experience mm -hmm. together and and it was just, it was an incredible, incredible experience. It was something that, I, I mean, you couldn't imagine. Because when you see this, this, this being on YouTube and, and he's got millions of followers all over the world, and now we're the ones that are in the room with him and we have that experience. It's something that, like, we had to share. Uh, I mean, mm -hmm. the one time Data, uh, he went to serve some tea. <laughs> And there was no tea in there, and it was just like, oh my goodness! I, wasn't, <laughs> I, I didn't go in the room and serve the tea, but I get the cup, and I'm, you know, like I'm thinking that it's filled with coffee, and then I'm about to go in the room. I'm just about to set my foot in the doorway, and then I get dragged back like it's empty. And like, <laughs> <laughs> he was gonna bring in and serve Swami G T, uh, but there's a cap on it to normally keep the the liquid hot, uh -huh. and so he was about to he was gonna go serve it, and then they said no, there's nothing in there. So and I didn't even bother to think about the weight because it was really <laughs> light. But throughout the whole time while we're serving food, you know, we're running back and forth, you know, like just constantly serving different items. So I didn't even think about the weight. It was so light, and I just took off with the cup and almost went in the room. Mm -hmm. So to have this experience was something, I mean, it, it was beyond beyond words. Uh, the, yeah. the, the ecstatic joy and the bliss mm -hmm. that you get just from being in that space yeah. with them. And uh, for me personally, I feel like, you know, at times it was such a casual setting for us to just be in there. But even in the casual setting, it's as if Swamiji himself was also giving us clicks. Even though he wasn't talking to us directly, yeah, yeah, that space and the mm. words that he said, it, it was making us uh, bring more awareness to what exactly, how Swamiji operates. It's like, it's like when you're scrolling through your news feed and you see that one quote from Swamiji that just happens to be the exact thing that you need to hear. And it was like that in, the, in his meeting. He was saying things to them, to his visitors, but it was talking to us. Like it was giving us clicks like Saha was saying. It was, yeah. It was pretty cool to be a part of, again, to, to be in that space. And there's a, actually one thing that he <coughs> said that you know, just sticks out to me. Uh, he said, he was telling them that 90% of his time, he is actually creating leaders within the Sangha. Yeah. And then 10% is... 10% well, only he is using to make money, to generate uh, money to run the Sangha. Yes. Mm. So it is like... Uh, it's very rare with any uh, other guru if you see like uh, most of the time Swamiji will be spending 90% like it's almost whole of his time he's spending only to build the leaders and like he just uh, sees that uh, as a success of Sanatan Hindu Dharma if yeah. he could build the leaders yeah. that is more success than building anything else. Yeah. Once he builds the leader he says the money will just flow. Yeah. Money yeah. will not uh, anything it just if I build the leader money will just flow. Yeah. The future is is going to be incredible to say the least. I mean, the, the way Swamiji's mm. structured everything, the future of the, the Hinduism in general, Sanatana Hindu Dharma, the life of it is just, it's going to expand and, and have a quantum leap ultimately. Swamiji's creating mm. this Vedic civilization yes. here. It's starting here mm. from the ground level. And not only like physically he want to give the experience like how 2000 year old and 3000 year old the buildings used to be, how the people used to have the transportation methods. Mm. Like he wanted to use the bullock carts yeah. <laughs> for people to uh, go around the campus. When you come to the Adinam yeah. in the future, you're going to be going around mm. in a bullock cart. And uh, any of the structure that you see here, like the doors and the uh, windows, all of them will be looking like it's a 2000 year old, how they will have like the big, big uh. doors, the wooden doors, those kind of things. We have been using like a lot of time uh, we have spent in the, doing the researches, finding like again it's a the concept. Yeah. So we have to do a lot of research how the Vedic civilization used to look like. Yeah. Then building the similar kind of structure. So you will get to see here having the experience to uh, take a travel in the bullock cart, see all the old doors, frames, buildings and a lot more. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> If you have a question as well, that what we want to do with this platform is if you're interested in learning anything and knowing anything, I mean, we're right here. We're like as close as we are to Swamiji's Murti. That's how we are with him in, in the physical body throughout the day. Yes. So if you have any questions or you want to know some things that 
you think uh, we give you the inside scoop on, feel free to message e either one of us, contact us, and let us know what that is. I mean, because there's so many interesting things that go on in the world. Yeah. I mean, or in this world at least. Yesterday, we were in the room with Swamiji, and, and we were looking at this library. This is the first time I've ever been in this room. And amongst all of these books on Sanatana Hindu Dharma, yoga, Upanishads, there's one book with Wayne Rooney in it, the, the biography of Wayne Rooney. And I'm, I go to Saha, who's a former soccer player, yes. and we're both <laughs> athletes. I'm like, do you see the Wayne Rooney book? It immediately, just a click. <laughs> I was like, why is it like oneness right there? Yeah. So I, I think for me, that just showed me that, you know, Swamiji does not leave any anything... Um, he doesn't leave any blind spots in the way that he's able to take in knowledge he, from all different aspects of life. Not just from the Agamas, but every single thing that you can imagine. He's literally looking at every aspect of human beings and their lives and how uh, he can transform them to live that higher superconscious life. Yeah. So, I mean, I, ha I have to ask him at some point, like, why is the Wayne Rooney book there exactly? <laughs> like, like what, sure. did you, what did you take from this book, you know? Uh, it's it's pretty cool to see, like Saha says, the wide variety of knowledge that Swami uh, mm. accumulated and, and is ultimately re-gifting to the world the, the deepest truths that humanity is just waiting for. Uh, pretty cool to be a part of. Yes. So if you guys have no questions right now, what we want to do is we want to introduce you to Maha Sadashiva Ratri, which is coming up, something that you cannot miss. If you miss Jainti, you missed a huge celebration. It was absolutely incredible being here in this environment, uh, being amongst uh, the closest disciples of Swamiji, getting to celebrate the avatar, his birthday. It was absolutely amazing to be able to see him and to be able to share that day with him here. Uh, so if you have an opportunity, you have to come here for the next yeah. the next upcoming event, which is... And Mahasadha Shivaratri is one of the most powerful public darshan that Swamiji gives. Uh, yeah. okay. Only once in a year that powerful public darshan happens. Uh. Can yeah. you give a little uh, talk about if somebody doesn't know what it is or what to expect? Uh, Mahasadashi Varatri, uh, basically this program as uh, all Hindu knows what uh, Shivaratri is. So that is the day when the cosmos was created. The Sadashiva created the cosmos out of him. And that is the day when he appeared first as a Shiva Linga. Uh, that, uh, there are multiple things that happened in this Mahasadashi Varatri. And Sadashiva whole night is so intensely... Uh, like if anybody does the meditation, it has a million times much more benefit than any other day. Mm. And that day specifically Swamiji will be, uh, Sadashiva himself, will be giving the most powerful energy darshan, the Shiva Kundalini Yoga uh, energy uh, meditation he will be teaching mm. and making everybody experience the Sadashivatwa. Mm. <coughs> and that's so, basically a guarantee Kundalini awakening yeah, yes. <laughs> the presence of Swamiji. Actually, uh, last year I attended the uh, Shivratri celebration here mm. in... Uh, the Bangalore Abidity Adinam itself, and something happened where just this strong experience of bliss and ecstasy just completely healed me, and it made me experience to the fullest that energy and being of Sadashiva. So do not miss this. This is a chance for you guys to taste, literally taste Sadashiva within your very core. And this is happening on February 13th. You can come here and you can register for that event. We've already put it in the description below. So check out the link, click it, and then register, sign up. Come and experience this incredible uh, happening uh, with uh, His Holiness Paramahamsa Nityananda. And uh, we would love to meet you there as well yes. and uh, get a chance to talk with you. Go live because that's what we're going to be doing a lot from here on out. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. We should cap it there. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Uh, it was it was awesome getting to, to chat and introduce ourselves. Looking forward to uh, seeing you guys on the next uh, videos and, and going live and, and introducing you to that intimate lifestyle that of, of being around the avatar oh, that and is, having yeah. that experience that uh, we want to share with the world because mm -hmm. it's an incredibly amazing lifestyle and, and it's just you get overwhelmed with bliss. So, uh, thanks for tuning in, everybody. Uh, looking forward to seeing you guys on the next video. And uh, Nityanda. Nityanda, guys. Nityanandam.